Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for February 22nd of 2024 is titled the Pencil Nebula Supernova Shockwave. So what do we see here? Well, this is what is known sometimes as the Pencil Nebula for its very compact appearance and almost linear appearance because of the way that we are viewing this gas that is expanding out through space. Now this is actually just a portion of the Veil supernova remnant, which is an extremely large supernova remnant covering a large chunk of the sky. And we see various portions of it as different nebulae. So here we see one portion of that where the material is expanding outward from a star that was seen to explode here on Earth over 10,000 years ago. And since that time, the material, the remnants of that star have been expanding outward in, in space. Now the amount of energy produced in a supernova is such that we can still see some of that material glowing today as it plows through space at very high speeds, over half a million kilometers per hour as it blazes through space. And because it is traveling at such a high speed, it will get compressed and shocked as it strikes other material within the interstellar medium. And as it does that, it will glow because of the energy produced as it strikes that other material. Now the supernova will continue to expand. It's traveling at very high speeds and the material will continue to expand outward and slowly dissipate within to the rest of the interstellar medium. So this is how many of the heavier elements get dispersed back out into the universe. The original Big Bang created hydrogen and helium only. So heavier elements had to be produced through things like supernovae. And the supernova explosion could actually pull that push that material back outward into space. And that becomes enriched in some of the heavier elements, things that make up life here on Earth, like carbon and oxygen, as well as heavier elements like iron. So this allows future generations of stars to be born from material that has higher concentrations of these heavier elements and allows for planets like Earth to actually form things that are made up of silicate rocks and have oxygen in their oxygen and nitrogen in their atmospheres and carbon as well. So those kind of things had to be produced elsewhere because they would not have formed in the very first stars forming after the universe formed because they had not yet had time to go through that stage to get up to that level of complexity of atoms. So we can thank ourselves here on Earth that's for the supernovae that have given us the elements that make up our planet. So that was our picture of the day for February 23rd of 2024. It was titled the Pencil Nebula Supernova Shockwave. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.